Everyone, I wanted to show you a quick remedy that I use for uh, removing earwax from my ears or just cleaning my ears in general. This is a remedy that I do about every three to four months. I just, for some reason, uh, have a buildup of wax that accumulates over time. And I've went to the doctors several times and had them remove it, but I found it to be kind of an unpleasant experience. Number one, because it costs money. Number two, that they usually the wax is pretty hard in my ears and they want to kind of get me in and get me out as quick as possible. So I found the nurses to be kind of rough and they use like this metal loop tool to go in there and it sometimes can hurt. You have them go deep in your ear and get this wax out. So I found this remedy and I've been using this for the past five years and I just wanted to show you how you can do it yourself. You're going to need some 3% hydrogen peroxide this little ear wax uh, removal syringe, I'll put a link below where you can purchase it on Amazon, as well as a standard uh, little liquid medicine dropper. So here we go. All right, first thing we're gonna do is open up our hydrogen peroxide and fill up the liquid dropper. We're gonna do one ear at a time. So I just fill it up a ways. I'm gonna put about four or five drops in one ear. So I'm gonna bend over here. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. Now you can feel it plug up and, uh, and then it starts to fizz and that fizzling kind of tickles a little bit, but it's actually killing all the bacteria. The hydrogen peroxide is killing all the bacteria and softening up the wax in your ear. It's cleaning your ear. So what we're going to go do now is lay down on the couch or on your bed. I usually just lay on my side and let it fizz in there for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and the fizzing has stopped in my ear. That's kind of a good indication on when uh, it's, it's okay to come in and start the next step is when the fizzing stops. The more bacteria and stuff you have in your ear, usually the longer it fizzes. But again, I do this about every three to four months. So usually about five to 10 minutes, the fizzing stops. So I just come back to my sink and kind of shake my ear. Maybe a couple drops will come out, maybe not. And then I just take a little bit of toilet paper and go in there and just soak up the rest of the hydrogen peroxide that's in there. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is take this uh, earwax removal syringe, again, link below where you can purchase on Amazon. These are made specifically for cleaning your ears and removing wax because they have these soft rubber tips and it actually shoots a stream of three water jets outwards, not inwards to your ear, which can damage your eardrum, but outwards so it hits the ear canal and uh, can break the wax loose. So I usually run some hot water. Not extremely hot, but you know you want it medium to hot. I kind of plug up my sink like so. This is a really pleasurable experience, let me tell you. I love, I'm not making a joke about it or anything, it actually feels really, really good. It feels like you have, you know, like an itch deep down in your ear and this thing just is scratching it. So <laughs> I actually kind of really look forward to this every couple months. So now we're at warm, hot. I'm going to fill it all the way up, bend over, put this red part in your ear, and then just empty the water. Now the first couple times I did this, it was a little, uh, you know, it took some getting used to because it is really loud in your ear when you're spraying it. But I do about 15 to 20 pumps, kind of shake my ear. If you've never done this, you might notice wax starting to fall, chunks of wax, it's kind of gross, starting to fall into the water. But you'll almost always notice your hearing increasing too the more you do this because it's breaking the wax loose, which is kind of like an earplug that's been probably, you know, you know, affecting your hearing for quite some time. So I just do this about 10 to 15 times and that's it. Then after you're done with the left ear, you're just going to want to repeat the process for the right ear. Do the hydrogen peroxide, lay down for 10 to 15 minutes, and do the pumping. Well, everyone, I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give it a like and comment below. If you've never cleaned your ears, or if you think you have a wax problem, or your ears, your hearing's been suffering, it could be a wax buildup, you owe it to yourself to give this a try. Again, I've been doing this for about five years. It helps me save money from having to go to the doctor and from some of the pain from, uh, from my experience from the doctor doing it because they just use a metal tool. They go way down in there and scrape it out of your ear and it's, it's hard wax. And this method, the hydrogen peroxide really softens it up. And uh, then with this uh, specifically made you know, ear syringe, it, it just it gets it out. Now, sometimes if the wax is really built up, you might have to do two you know, nights of the hydrogen peroxide and this, but eventually 
it'll get all the wax out of your ear and it just, you'll have super hearing, superhuman hearing. I mean, it's amazing. Sometimes I've had it where, you know, like a small, like pea size, you know, piece of wax fell out of my ear, not to be gross, but it just, I could hear everything. It was like superhuman hearing and it was amazing. So I'll put links below to where you can get all these things on Amazon. Again, I hope you found this video informative and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.